this year's Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition has brought some extraordinary images to us. Now, in its 57th year, the National History Mu Na Na Natural History Museum's competition has drawn more than 50,000 entries from 95 different countries. Very pleased to say uh, that joining us now on the programme is wildlife photographer Lara Jackson, who took an extraordinary photo of a lioness after a kill and is on the shortlist. Lara, it's, it's great to see you this morning. I mean, prestigious doesn't really quite cover it when it comes to uh, the Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition. You must be quite excited about this. Yeah, um, extremely excited and actually can't quite believe um, that one of my images has been chosen. Um, so I'm still very, you know, feeling over the moon and it's just very surreal for me. Um, well, I just wanted to show our viewers the, the kind of the, the, the potentially winning photograph. I mean, it's a striking photo of a lion to start with, but then you, you realise that perhaps there's been something of a feast taking place. How on earth did you get the image? Yeah, so I was really lucky to be in Tanzania, uh, in the Serengeti during July and August of last year. And this is a time when the wildebeest migration is at its peak. There are millions of antelope species migrating through the landscape. And we just happened to see this lioness as she pounced upon a wildebeest. And we drove over, re-angled the vehicle, and this female was enjoying a morning feast and unfortunately the poor wildebeest was still alive um, and as we drove the vehicle closer she looked up at us and just gave us this intense challenging stare she was almost warning us away from her kill and she just happened to look straight down my camera lens and you can see her face is just covered in this bright red oxygenated blood I mean her kill was as fresh as can be. To, to what extent then Lara are, 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 are successful wildlife images, maybe a combination of, you know, the luck of getting that framing absolutely perfect and the, the look from the lioness at the right time, but also good practice, putting yourself in the right place at the right time to have a shot at getting these types of photos. Yeah, absolutely. It's a combination of, of everything, really. Um, first and foremost, I'm actually a conservation biologist and I started taking photos on the side alongside my research. And definitely the more you're out there, the more opportunities you have to see these incredible behaviors that you might not necessarily see if you're only there for a, a week or two. Um, so absolutely, it's a combination of luck, but also just developing your skill and your eye as a photographer. Um, I feel like I've definitely come a long way in, in the time that I've been using my camera. So, but yeah, luck plays a, a critical role, I think. We're, we're just looking at a few others of the, the well, and the, there are some striking and strong images uh, that will be also on the on the shortlist for, for this award. But 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 to your mind, I mean, what is the what is the purpose? What is the power of wildlife photography? Of course, it's been used by conservationists since since time immemorial to show people the behaviours, the the landscapes, the the, you know, the the habitats of these animals. But now that we're in a time of kind of climate change and a time of kind of, you know, the scarcity of species in certain parts of the world, I mean, there's, there is a campaigning element to these images, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, um, people use wildlife photography as a way to spark conversations. And that's really important, especially now when we're so disconnected from nature in our current society. And I'm sure that, you know, you've heard all the stories about climate change and how it's really impacting the planet and all the species that are experiencing massive declines as a result of that and numerous other factors. And really, it's just a way for us to show what's going on in the natural world, spark those conversations and get people talking about it to raise awareness. So it's really important. And the best thing about photography is it really is a universal language. You know, you don't have to speak English to understand what's going on in a photo. Um, I think it's just one of the best ways to try and talk about the issues that are going on in the natural world right now. So where next um, for Lara Jackson's photography? I mean, have you got trips planned? What, what, what is the shot that you would most like to get, if at all possible? Uh, well, international travel is relatively tricky at the moment. Yeah, that, that is um, true. So that I've is got true. a few yeah. trips totally lined up. Yeah, it's been a slightly difficult year, um, but hopefully a few trips lined up next year. Um, I mostly focus on East Africa, so actually I'd love to travel to some other places and document things like the Arctic and 
you know, all the troubles that are going on with polar bears and climate change and the struggles they're having to find food. I think I really want to move into the space of um, conservation journalism and start telling stories that people really need to hear about rescue, rescuing wild animals and rehabilitating them and just showing people the issues that we're facing at the moment. Just one final question, you know, obviously you're a wildlife photographer. I know a couple of kind of natural history cameramen working in kind of broadcast. Each one of them tells me it's the best job in the world and that they would never do anything else. I wonder if obviously you combine yours with a campaigning role, but I suspect that you might share that view about just how enjoyable a career it is. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love it. And I've been obsessed with wildlife and nature for my entire life. Um, so I can completely agree agree with that and they say if you find a job you love then you never work a day in your life um of course it's it's difficult um you see the final end product that one image but the the hundreds that you go through in order to get that one image it, you know it's a substantial number and and as we were talking about earlier the luck to just be in that place at the right time um yeah it's it's an amazing job but i think um one of the things that i'd like to say while i'm on here is just that you know, wildlife photography is still a really male-dominated area. Um, and I think that's shown by just the fact that I'm one of two women in that select uh, group of photos that have been released today. And I think it's really important to raise a conversation about that. And we want to build capacity and then encourage young girls and women to pick up a camera and get out there because I think it's really important to have storytellers um, from both sides. Uh, it certainly is. Well, we wish you all the very best in the competition. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Bar Jackson, great to have you on the show. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Time now.